you, you start looking at definitions of information and, and wherever you stop you find that you're in trouble. You start off with all the stuff which is out there, uh, millions and millions and millions and millions of undifferentiated bits of potential information. Um, and there are various filters which we can apply to the questions we ask of the stuff out there, through which information become perhaps data about a particular thing, through which uh, the data become informative in, in, in ways that we can then use. And we're really focusing on, on that informativeness, that last stage of it. So that means, in regard to empire, uh, we start off with simple questions like how, what information could the, em the growing empire uh, create or find simply about itself, physically? Um, you have this enormous land mass, but what did who know and how about what this land mass was? Who made the maps? How did they make the maps? When did they get the technology to make the maps? For what purposes did they make the maps? So we start off simply with the empire as a physical thing, information. Then how does, over this huge space, how do bits of information circulate, it's not straightforward. You need a transport system. You need, we focus on the infrastructure such as the postal system. We focus on uh, then um, uh, the productions, the publications which are designed specifically uh, as bearers information. We look at the origins and growth of newspapers, for example, ways of bringing news, what's news, from abroad, out of Russia, within Russia, uh, information specifically designed as news, information gathered and turned into news. Then we look at the uh, structures within which the empire deliberately assembled and focused information, its bureaucratic structures. How effective were they? How, how did the empire actually know about what was being done in its name along the periphery? Did it know how much money it had, where it was gathering it from, how did it know, and so on. And then finally, we look at the information which confronts the individual in the most direct way. You walk around the streets. What is in your face, so to speak? The emergence of public information, road signs, shop signs, um, placards, uh, mileposts, the things which give you your markers of where you are in that imperial space. So information is interpreted broadly, but in a rather utilitarian way as to how we, how we find out about where we are and what's there in this expanding empire. We have a very international group of contributors. Uh, we have contributors from the UK, from Canada, from uh, the United States, from Sweden, uh, from the Russian Federation. Um, one of the phrases occasionally used to compliment books, which irritates me, is to say something is, let's say, a contribution to English language scholarship of something. Um, something is either a contribution to scholarship or it isn't, and, and language mustn't be a barrier. Uh, and the English-speaking world must not be the limits of one's, uh, of one's intellectual horizons. So, so having the Russian contributions is very important. Open access is, is clearly the way of the future, and this was realized by open book publishers before a lot of my academic colleagues, and indeed myself, realized that that was the way of the future. Um, to, 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 to um, restrict knowledge these days uh, feels stranger and stranger. Um, this is across all spheres and all platforms. It's happened in the music industry, it's happened in images, it's happened uh, in art, it happens all over the place, and it's happening in, in, in scholarly publication as well. The idea that there should be a, uh, a necessary barrier and a necessary time lag um, between those who produce knowledge and those who are interested in, in, in access to it seems odder and odder and odder. Clearly, models have to be found to make the work that goes into the production of knowledge sustainable in the open access area, era, and that is not straightforward. Uh, but um, open book publishers seem to have found a way that worked, and we're very happy to be part of that.